hello friends once again welcome to my youtube channel techies hub so this is the second tutorial related to azure devops so in the first tutorial i have completed how we can do an estimate in azure devops so in this second tutorial i will be covering how we can do the sprint retrospective in azure devops so i am using the same project as test project that we used for the estimate part and i have already added the extensions for uh, doing the retrospective so so let's get started so we in the boards we have the extension uh, already added like retrospective when we click on the retrospective it will be taking us to the uh, retrospective page so this is the retrospective page so uh, you can see that here we will be creating a board and we will be uh, assigning this board to a team so all those team members will be able to see the board they will start putting their comments then we will discuss the uh, comments and then we will uh, if there is any action item we will create an action item and we will assign it to the corresponding person so that's what we are going to do in the retrospective so first of all let's create a board so i will be uh, calling it as print one retro and uh, you can have uh, for n number of columns in the uh, retro but uh, as of now we will be only having two that van went well and where didn't go well and then uh, I will be saving the board so now all the people in the member will be able to see this board you can see the uh, sprint name here uh, the retro name here and we have four space uh, four faces like collect group vote and act and if you click on the three icon you can have the option to edit the retrospective then we can copy the link then we can send in some email summary and then we can delay the retrospective so let's start with the retrospective so in the left hand side we will have what went well so the sprint review was successful with less changes from business so that's one of the thing and the second one is like uh, all the tasks were updated correctly in the board along with correct story status so it's like uh, the process we are uh, correctly following so that is something that uh, is doing good in the project and what went well so something like the DSM is taking more than 15 minutes and uh, the impediments in the DSM are not resolved properly then we can have something like a uh, uh, query clarification is taking more time so actually since I am the only person uh, available in the board I can only see this much comments but if there are more members then you uh, then you will get more comments so so that's all, all the purpose of this board we need more comments and we will go through the uh, comments and we if it is a good one then we will appreciate it if it is something we need to act on and do something to reduce the impact we will work on it so that's all about the spin retro once this is done we will go to the grouping so in this you can see that uh, this dsm we have uh, this uh, the comments related to dsm we have two comments so we will be grouping them together we will be just moving and pasting it over the dsm so you can see now we have one group with two items so the impediments in the dsm are not resolved properly dsm is taking more points so there may be so many comments which we can be grouped if there are so many members so we are not uh, looking into those because it may take uh, because then we need a big team and all those things so since i have only one member we are only covering this much then after this we will be going to the vote so it's like if someone says that the sprint review is so that's so this one the sprint review was successful with less changes from the business so that is something we need to be appreciated so we will vote it that's the good point that is agreed by everyone and this one uh, this is something uh, we will also vote so this is why we are voting is we have to consider this because everybody has the same opinion like 
okay this is an issue that needs to be taken so we will vote it as uh, one also so these are the two points that we have voted as one so that's how we do the voting and then we will go to the act the, the main reason that uh, we have voted this as one is because it is it is a uh, good thing to the team that we have completed the sprint review so it's nothing to act upon because it's a good thing so we will keep it as it is but there is something like this impediments that uh, that's having some impact on the project so this needs to be uh, taken into consideration and we have to work on it so what we can do we have, can add a work item which are work item we want and we can uh, provide the user user whom it should be assigned so that that will be available in the next sprint and the person has to work on it so this has to be taken care by scrum master since it's a daily scrum meeting so the scrum master it will be assigned to and he has to make sure that we are uh, actually completing the dsm in 15 minutes and all the impediments that we can uh, resolve in the call that we can resolve it there or it has to be taken offline and it the scrum master should make sure that it, it is resolved so we can create something and we can assign it to the person and we can move it to the respective sprint so that's all about how we act and then we have something called this focus mode this focus mode is all about uh, what so you can see here we have what went well and what didn't go well so if you go to the focus mode then you have a left arrow and right arrow so you can click on this left arrow and you can go to each comments individually so this is for the discussions to happen in a uh, interactive way so only this uh, we will be focusing only on this comment and we'll be talking on this uh, uh, comment only and so everybody can uh, give the uh, their response on this so we don't have to consider about all the other comments so it is to get more focus so the same can be done for what didn't go well we can just go through the individual uh, comments and we can uh, come up with the uh, work item or an action to be taken in the coming sprints so so that's all about how we can do the uh, retrospective so once everything is done we will have the some action item that will be in the that needs to be taken in the coming sprints so that that's how we do the uh, retrospective in azure devops so if somebody says that they have missed some point in uh, in this process we can again go back to collect the collect page and we can add the command and all those things and we have to follow the same process so this is the good way that we collect all the comments and then we uh, find out which one needs to be taken uh, and just vote it so that in the act phase we will look into it more deeply and we will have an action item which will be covered in the next sprint or in the coming sprint so which one which needs to be taken immediately which will be covered in the uh, the uh, sprint that comes uh, right after so that's all about how we can do the retrospective in azure devops thank you everyone for watching the video bye